My name is Deborah Martinez. Uh, I'm 36 years old. Uh, I'm a millennial caregiver and I take care of my 94 year old father. I guess the caregiving that I give provide to my father <laughs> is um, I try to do an emotional support as well as just the daily tasks I guess because I right now we live in Fredericksburg so it's about a two hour commute um, here so I'm not with him necessarily during the day um, but when I do get home I just try to spend time with him uh, help around with dinner uh, get his get his meal ready um, but also try to give him his pills at night warm up his water bottle because um, he's always cold <laughs> and just make sure that he's not swollen you know there's no new symptoms coming up that the doctors uh, you know made us aware of he uh, went to the hospital in 2015 uh, for severe anemia and just a uh, heart failure so he's been on medication since then and so something that they they not warned but just to be of concern a little is if he has swelling in his ankles uh, or his leg. Um, I also have bought a you know blood pressure cuff um, monitor, so I do that too and make sure that that's not too way off. Um, they've also definitely told us to um, monitor his weight and make sure it doesn't fluctuate rapidly within like five pounds in a day or two. So I try to try to monitor that somewhat um, <laughs> at night. And then uh, on the weekends, uh, I have him, I guess, essentially. Um, and so we just go out, do something. Uh, mind you, he can't move a lot. So even if I just take him in the car and we just take a ride, um, try, to, try to do that too. None of my friends understand, I guess, the extent what goes on. I have a friend that um, had grandparents had Alzheimer's. So he knows how difficult it can be because um, he saw his, his father do it. But I don't... I, I can't say any one of my friends has a direct, you know, understanding of what it's like to be a caretaker in the sense. One of the rewards is that I have my dad. Um, you know, I, I lost my parent about 20 years ago and I still miss her very much, especially now in the holiday season. Um, but I do have my dad still and no matter how difficult, I know it can be every day. It is a process every day, but I get to see him and I get to hear stories from him and just to spend time with him is really it's just to you know stop and smell the roses you know treasure small moments because it really is treasuring small moments it's a lot of stress but there are certain glimmers you know that just that you hold on to and I know I'll hold on to you know when he passes away